good height and thrust off the horse. There we have the first twist, the second twist, and well spotted. Good legs, legs together all the way through. Slightly off course. As you can see from that shot, she's slightly over to the left hand side. Possible deduction there of 0.1, anything up to 0.3 deduction, three tenths for deviation on landing. Nine point seven, the first score, and how about that? Nine point eight three seven. So, bar a disaster on this second vault. Pisquin will take the lead from the Olympic champion, and that will be the first upset of this women's vault final. She's gone for the same second vault of Milosevic. Handspring front in the pike shape with a half turn. 9.9 tariff. Here we see it. Handspring onto the horse. Nice legs. But that step forwards on landing. Good height. Again, we see from that angle slight deviation on landing. One tenth deduction and one tenth deduction for her step forwards. A little heavy in the landing. Waits very carefully, and she's done enough. 9.687, but carried it off thanks to that 9.837 on the first vault. And the leaderboard change as Piskun goes into first position. 9.762. There is the Olympic champion who already, early days in this women's final, finds herself in second. Belarusia and Piskun lead. Kodilkova, Czechoslovakia, first vault. Interesting vault. Not a good landing. She went for quite a difficult vault there. Here we see it in slow motion. We have cartwheel, a half turn in flight, and the Arabian front off. So that's a cartwheel onto the board, a half twist onto the horse with the front somersault off. But two or three steps in landing, difficult vault. Again, half turn onto the horse, one and a half somersaults off. Nine point eight three seven is the best first vault score we've seen so far. Kova, eighty-year-old from Ostrana, nine point five eight seven. So that puts her into third position of the first round. Severely penalised for taking two steps forward, on the landing of her first vault. She really does need an excellent second round. Take it away from Piskin, leading for Belarusia. Oh, handspring front, not a good landing, landing on a straight leg there. Lacking in flight. As a handspring front in the tuck shape. Only going for the 9-7 tariff in her second vault. Kudilkova, who was the eighth last qualifier for the final, so she's happy just to be competing in this, her first major World Championship final. Here we see, losing her legs in flight, knees apart, deduction for that, good distance, but not an awful lot of height, low in flight. 
hence the poor landing. Nine point five one two. Gudilkova goes into third position. One and two unchanged. Piskun leads for Belarusia. Milicevic is in second position for Romania. Lilia Podkopayeva. Well, a disaster there for Podkopayeva. Looks to be unhurt, but Haley completely mistiming. A vault. Complete lock of concentration, almost a blank out. Yeah, com com complete mistake there. I'm not exactly sure what happened myself. Um, here we see it in slow motion. The handspring. Oh, she slides. Completely missed the hands on top of the horse. No vault. Here. The hands slip off the front of the horse. And when you've got momentum like that, you certainly can't stop. Well, that's a great shame for Podkopayeva. Sixth position in the qualification. Well, this is what gymnastics is all about. Very artistic, supple, but real gritty performers. She has to go back and try it all over again. Competition surely over for Podkopayeva. This is a matter of pride, possibly regaining the confidence. She's... Um very, very talented gymnast, and that was one big mistake. There we saw the hands in front and the pike shape with half turn. Very sad for her. She was one of the most popular gymnasts in the qualifying rounds, particularly with the crowd. A little bit reminiscent of Olga Korbeck, very, very unique in her work. What a glare this young lady gave to that horse when she walked away and said, why did you do that to me on the first vault? Much better on the second. Just a little step sideways on the landing there. But that really is a wonderful second vault after that disaster from the first. And Haley, possibly that's the best way to get back is to go right to the end of that vault and try the whole thing again as soon as possible. Certainly, if you're not injured, you get up there and you do it again because otherwise you get mental blocks and you've got problems. She did extremely well there, showing, showing her strength of character. Podkopayeva will certainly not change the leaderboard, but she's putting on a brave face. What a gritty and young, tough performer. And there is Ms. Quinn, first to commiserate Podkopayeva. Ms. Quinn, just on the left of your screens there, currently leads. Lisevich is second. Kudilkova is third for Czechoslovakia. A brave face. And there is the current leader, and the leaderboard will not change. And with no Shannon Miller, for which we have no explanation as yet in this vault final, could be another goal for Belarusia. Cuban, Jova still to come. So watch out. The 294 Gina Gojian of Romania, surely the biggest threat. Some deep thoughts there for Lilia Kopayeva. Guarantee that this young 15 year old will be back. Well, there is Shannon Miller, the all-around gold medalist who has chosen not to compete, possibly through an injury, possibly resting for the other finals. Well, the lady on the left of your screen, Podkopayeva, you are awaiting the score of next to her, Pizquid. Well, Podkopayeva representing the Ukraine now at Pizquid, Belarusia, but of course, they spent 